Guys, I am addicted to this game. Absolutely addicted. We are back though with Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Oh yes. The repair bay is now operational and we do have a brake caliper to fix. So why not? Let's give it a go. I wonder if it gets down to like zero. It's just com it's just permanently broken. You, you can't repair it. It's gone. It's vamoose. But this saves me having to actually buy it. And that is a little bit tedious. Having to repair it every time. But we can save so much money. The cylinder did even need fixing. But I fixed it anyway. Because I'm a good guy like that. That's what I do. This is of the same car. Doesn't actually need repairing, but... Why not? <laughs> it's so much fun. Do you get XP for doing this? I'd imagine you do. Do you get XP for doing that? I don't know. I'm not actually sure. So we still need some brake pads. You can't fix brake pads for obvious reasons. Uh, so back to the store. Uh, shopping list. So I've done the brake calipers. They're fixed. I need a brake disc. Ventilated. Very nice. And we need some brake pads. We need two of these. Look at that. That is beautifully shiny. Oh, this person is so lucky. <laughs> That's, I mean, they were probably expecting a new product to be put on the car. That's true. That didn't quite happen. <laughs> Whoops, I've just repaired it. It's all good. It looks like new. It's all right. Uh, this brake caliper was gone as well. Obviously, I fixed it. Oh, this is so good. The repair bay is essential. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, there we go. That side's done. I feel like I might be missing a part on this side. What do we need? Brake pads. That works, 79%. I believe that's good enough. Oh, I do need a brake caliper. Where's... Did I, did I break one? Did I sell... A great brake caliper, ten percent. Oh, is it too low to be fixed? Ah, okay. Yeah, it's too low to be fixed. I still need to buy one. Interesting. Okay, I didn't know that. I still don't have. I don't. Don't. Don't, don't actually have a tablet yet, which is probably a, a bad idea. Um, I think it's about five hundred credits, but it's quite useful. I brought one caliper. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Makes sense. If it's so broken, you can't fix it. That, that does make sense. Maybe if you get more perks, maybe you can fix a more broken product before you uh, have to admit the feet. Right, there we go. Is that all done? Did I forget anything? I did. Brake pads. I'm guessing that's on this wheel then. Whoopsie. Do they look a bit rusty? Have a look. Yeah, they need changing. All right, fine. Got a little stub and screw there as well. After I've done this, this job is done. Money in the bag. So I'm guessing we get it. It does. It pretends that we've obviously bought the part again, even though we've just fixed it. So I, I believe this is a good way to get some money. Um, don't quote me on that. But that's, that's what I believe is true. <laughs> oh, funny. I could have fixed this, I guess, as well, if I wanted to. But it, it's it's more than good enough. It's fine. And there we go. Jobs are good. Professional mechanic. Now it should be done. There we go. Vamos. See you later. Do I want to purchase any more tools? I do have a new tool, which I will show you in a second. It basically measures the tread depth of the tire. It didn't cost me too much. I might go for... Uh, I think it's like an electronic test. Which one's that? It's a welder. Charger. Aha! Electronic multimeter. So it's an additional tool. All you got to do is open up the bonnet. And it's a really quick way to get XP, actually. And obviously you can diagnose some faults that aren't so clear, which is useful. What's this one? Does it even say? All right. 
Let's have a look. We got we got enough money. One thousand five hundred is a good amount of money to do a job. We should be all right. Oh, all right. That's a bit boring. <laughs> Fine. Move the car into lift A. But I will show you guys my new tools because they are pretty cool and they're a really good way to uh, get some XP. So let's go for. Just, even though it's not related to tires at all, just measure the the thread depth, the thread depth quickly. 53%. They're not too bad. They're alright. Got enough rubber on them. Doesn't... I'm guessing in the in the US there's a, a limit to the tread depth you need to pass a test. I, I, I'm not quite sure. And this measures all the electronics in the car. And again, you see the XP? It's constantly going up. That's a pretty cool tool, isn't it? I quite like that. That's a really quick way. Obviously, it can find a sort of hidden fault that maybe you might miss. As you can tell, it's all pretty good. 51% is not too bad. Um, so what was the list exactly? Windscreen, power steering, and coolant. Okay, we can do that. That won't take me too long. Let's just fill it up. Again, it's not a drain. It's just a fill. So, easy. Easy does it. Washer fluid? Was it power steel? I already forgot. My memory is so bad. <laughs> I've got so much going on in my head sometimes. I'm pretty sure it's power steering. Oh, there we go. Looks a bit low. Yes, yeah, definitely needs changing. I think that's it. Again, I don't believe the fluids were in the last game. This is a completely brand new. Got a car wash as well, which I haven't unlocked yet. I do want it. ASAP. How much money do we even get for this? 78? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. So we do have a car outside. This is a story car. Which has been here for so long now. Does it, does it even start? Let's have a look. Let's have a sit down. No, I did not mean to do that. Does it start? Um... Nope. I don't believe missing a fuel filter. Okay. Missing it completely. That's a bit weird. Did I try and fix it? Did I try and fix it? Maybe if I put the fuel filter on, maybe it will function. I'll move the car inside. This is a story mission car, so they're normally quite a complex fix. But I feel like we're ready. I think we have enough money. Famous last words. Fuel filter. Yeah, maybe I won't have enough money. <laughs> That's true, actually. I don't know. I've got no idea. So, yeah, it is missing one completely. I might have taken it off. Call this rust. Oh. Right, can I take this for a test drive? That's what I'm trying to do. Engine can't be started. Okay. So it literally doesn't even start. Oh, lovely. So we're going to jump in. We're going to do some of our basic tests. Let's check the tyres. Make sure they're okay. 70%. So this car was left for six months. Not used. And cars don't like that. They generally like to be used. They don't want to be just sitting there. Even just turn the car on for an hour or two. They love that. Just get them running a little bit. Any electrical faults? Again, we get... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so it's quite useful. It's picked up a few issues. The relay tape, uh, type A is gone. Which I believe is in the fuse box. Nearby, the starter's gone. Alternator's gone. Ooh, this is going to be an expensive repair. Very expensive. Uh, I don't know what to do. Do I give it a go? Do I start trying to fix it? Uh, there's so much to think about. I've done the the fuel filter. I've done it. <laughs> That's all I've done. Oh, gee. This car is broke. I'm pretty sure there's more stuff to fix as well. Oh. Right, what I can do... Go inside. I need to start draining everything, basically. Whoop. 
Might even empty the oil actually as well. Do I need to get the red? Do I need to empty the red? Of water? Is that even possible? Apparently I can't. Is it empty already? So if I take that off and I get a penalty, I will not be happy. I don't see... Hmm. If I get a penalty for that, so that needs to come off. That definitely needs to come off. So if I take the cap off, I can fill it up, can't I? How do I get the, the water out? Maybe it's empty. I don't know. All right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand what it wants from me. It has to be. It has to be empty. All right. Fine. So that's all the fluids and stuff gone. That's a good start. Let's get rid of the oil as well. This is going to be Operation Impossible. Do I have enough money for this? This might be potentially the worst idea ever to try and fix this. I don't think I have enough money. I don't think it's going to be possible. It's not going to be possible. Let's drain the fluids. In case I take some of the engine parts out, for example, oil might just spill absolutely everywhere. We don't want that. Last thing I want right now is a penalty. I don't... Yeah. No. No, no, no. What's the chance? Well, if, yeah, if I take this red out, and I get a penalty for this. That'll be good. Oh! I was getting worried. So I go to the infantry. So I need to just... I don't think we can fix any of this stuff before we continue. I'm just going to sell it all. No, I'm not quite ready yet. So I might as well just get rid of all of this stuff. So radiator C. Got it. Goodbye. Radiator C. Let's get that in there first. There you are, 150, that's not too bad. So I bought the part for that. Looks like this area doesn't look pretty, does it? So let's take the engine cover off first. Also, I believe the spark plugs need to be changed. A lot needs to be changed. <laughs> this is gonna be a build and a half. Some of these screws look rusty. Camshaft looks in pretty good, Nick, though. Yeah, inside the engine looks okay. Just where the rust and the, the lack of use. You can tell from this car, it does, yeah. Needs some love. All right, that needs changing. A lot of these belts and these cogs and the water pump really look absolutely shocking, honestly. Like, this car has not been looked after. Again, I'm hoping the water doesn't spill everywhere. No, we're good. Whew! <laughs> uh, alternator? How do I get that off? Okay, this is going to be expensive, right? It looks expensive. Start, I need to get that off on the lift. Okay. Um, anything else look rusty? No. If I can just make a start on this job, I guess that's something. Starter, where are you? There you are. Get this off. That's expensive. It's going to be, this is going to add up. It's going to seriously add up. Anything we can repair. I can repair the engine cover. Wow. Great. All right, take off the drive shaft first, which is a big boy. This basically is what gives the rotation to the rear wheels. It's pretty important. Um, sorry if any of these facts are completely wrong. This is a job and a half, isn't it? All right, what's happening inside this gearbox? I told you it was an ambitious job, and I wasn't joking. Oh, yeah, I can tell straight away that does not look pleasant. 
pretty sure my clutch on my 350 is 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 going west. Definitely. Oh man, that is just a rust bucket. And the crankshaft. Do I take the flywheel off? Yeah, I don't, I'm not being this far into a car yet in this game. Right, so clutch plate needs changing. Release bearing needs changing. Starter, oil filter, alternator, water pump, roller, two belts. Damn, that is expensive. Right, shopping list. So this is where I need to get rid of this list first before I start. There we go, that's the first one. 90, that's not too bad. Uh, get rid of that. That's okay. Cheaper ones I'm all for. Starters are going to be expensive. Oh, electronics, of course. That's, that's gearbox, Scott. Yep, great job. Electrics, starter. I can type. So it's a stand. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Don't panic, Scott. It's fine. Oh. I do want to keep digging. Okay. So I can add that to the shopping list as well. Let's get this belt off first, maybe. The belt. Oh, the belt needs changing as well. I think that might be it for the main sort of engine parts. So, shopping list. No, don't set it just yet. I hope I've added those correctly. Uh, back to the main shop. Shopping list. Got that. I need this. Whoa, that's expensive. For a gear? Why? Must be made out of some solid ass material. Right, I have a feeling we're getting there. We're getting there. So we start mounting some of these parts up. There we go. Should have checked actually if I could repair any of these parts. There we go. I can put the new bed on if you want me to. That's no, probably going to get in my way. If you take that off a second, let's see what we can actually repair. My bad to repair that. Make it nice and new. Yes, I can. <laughs> A plastic... How can I repair a plastic cover? I'm pretty sure that's all it is. I'm not here to judge. It'd be so nice, though, to hear this car start up. Because it has taken me quite a bit of time to put back together. Had to take the gearbox off, the drive shaft, camshaft, the water pump, so much. Change the rad, the alternator, the starter. It's a mess. It's an absolute mess. Obviously, you can't really fix a belt. It's not really repairable. And then, what else do we need to do? Put these back on. There's still loads to do yet, I reckon. I'm hoping we get in there, though. I have a feeling I've missed probably one part, I'm going to have to just take all this stuff off again. I really hope that's not true. That's the scarier part about this game. You're, you're never sure. You're never sure. Put this brand new engine cover on. It's going to look nice and shiny. Brand new. Lovely. That's on. How are we doing on in terms of stats? We're doing all right. Spark plugs. Where the hell was that? Aha. I found them. I found the spark plugs. How did I? Why did I start putting this car back together before doing that? Is, is there someone on the other side? No. So I need four new spark plugs. I can do that. I'm guessing it's under electronics. Spark. There we go. At least they're nice and cheap. It's weird how essential the spark plugs actually are. And they always seem to be one of the first things to go on the car. 
I'm pretty sure we can keep going now. Yeah. I could have probably got to those a little bit easier, actually. I did the main. I didn't need to take off the whole manifold and stuff like that. I was getting a little bit carried away. Whoops. Could have just taken off these wires. Yeah. Oh, one sec. Are they broke as well? Yep, ignition wires. Ah, okay. Was not aware. Um, add to shopping list. Let's have a look. Shopping list, wires, 55, brand new wires. Again, I can't imagine being able to repair those, honestly. Ah, there you go. Starter is now on. Gearbox is back on. I believe all I have to do... Oh, no. Oh, no. Fuel pump? Okay. Uh, did I forget to put them back on? Ah, maybe I forgot to put them back on? Okay, I did. Oh. Oh, I was getting worried. Yeah. Okay. Whew. I think that's what I need to do anyway. Yeah, new belt. Another belt. Okay. Whew. Okay, fuel pump. Okay, we're doing all right. Fuel pump is at the back. So let's lift up the car again. It should be fairly easy. Oh, I was getting worried there. I just, I just forgot to put something there. It's busted. The fuel pump is gone. And I need, I think it's electronic part. I managed to pick up. So back to the normal store. Fuel pump, which is actually quite expensive. Ouchie, ouchie. We should get a nice big load of money, though, when this is done. When it's done. <laughs> there we go. And then we can work out the last and final parts. Is it A and B? Okay. Relay type B and A. I can do that. Electronic. Relay. So I need A and B. I'm guessing that is in the fuse box. And that needs to add all the fluids and stuff like that. And then we are done. That was crazy. That was bonkers. I haven't actually done much with the, the fuse boxes yet. Yeah, see that one's gone. Uh, which other one's gone? So that's a B. Let's get rid of that. Do we have any... Ah. Yeah, that's gone as well. Pretty sure the car will not start if these relays are busted. I'm, I very... Again, I doubt you can fix those. What do I know? And then we're going to put all the liquids in. And the car, fingers crossed, will start. That was... A crazy, crazy fix. But we're not far off from doing it now. It should start. Famous last words. <laughs> oh, if it doesn't start, I would cry. It must feel quite good, though. If you do a fix like this on a car. Oh, it's just on the max line. It should be okay, though. It must feel really nice. Yes, satisfying. A car that was potentially going to go to the junkyard, get scrapped, and you fix it. That's, 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 a, that's a good feeling. And then coolant in the red. Bit of an old-fashioned red. There we go. Done. All right, let's see if this car starts. Move to garage entrance C. Let's see if it starts, please. Let me get in. So when we start this episode, it couldn't start. No! Oil, oh my God, I forgot oil. Ah! What the hell am I doing? The most important fluid you can put into a car and I just forgot. Whoopsie. How did I forget that? How embarrassing. 
I embarrass myself. I embarrass my family. Shocking. Let's try that again. <laughs> That's really embarrassing. Oh no. Right, will the car start? Let's have a look. Oh, dream. Oh, that ain't. Lovely. What a build, my friends. What a build. Car status. All done. Yeah, all done. Boom. Oh, look at the credits. Yes. That's more like it. Oh, that feels good. That feels so good. I'm so happy. So happy with that. Got a bunch of XP. Um, what we're going to do is do a few more upgrades. Um, let's do... Uh, what should we do a test on next? Tablet would be quite useful to get. Let's go for... Compression tester? Yeah, okay. Let's go for that. Let's go for the tablet as well. So I can now go on the tablet and the store anywhere. Anywhere in the shop. Oh! That's a good upgrade. That's a very good upgrade. Beautiful. I should probably try and fix this car. This car's been here for absolutely ages. Piston rings, spark plugs, camshafts. That's a big ass job. <laughs> Maybe another day. Uh, car is loud. Looks like an exhaust issue. We can have a look at that. I also want to do my new tests. So let's move the car to the garage. It's making a very loud sound, apparently. Hmm. Let's have a look inside. So, additional tools. What does this show? Ah, that is useful. That's really useful. Look at the XP coming in. Oh, damn. All right. That is really useful. Uh, electronic test again. Yeah, this is, this is an exhaust issue, but still. We can also test the car out as well. See what it sounds like. Beep, 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 beep. 3D. Anything else? Check the tires. Again, you see the XP coming in as well. Because they're all getting examined. So you get experience from this. Almost, it does make sense. To me, anyway. <laughs> uh, let's, give this, let's test this car out, actually. Why not? Test track. Boom. Let's go. It's going to be a bit loud, apparently. It's probably got a hole in the exhaust, or the exhaust has come off, or given up. Oh, this is the turbo, right? Whoa, I just smashed that car. That's a bit weird. It's a weird sound for a car to make. Should I do test? Whoa! Incredible driving skills, but I hate driving. Any game, I don't care what game it is. Great test. Oh, it's going quite quick. <laughs> oh, imagine like you hand your car over to a mechanic and you just see it going around a track like that. I would be mortified. Absolutely mortified. Oof. Yeah, so it literally examines all of these parts. Apart from the exhaust, annoyingly. Um, any other issues you want me to do? Or is it literally just the exhaust? Yeah. I'm still not... Even with all those tests, I still haven't worked out what the issue is. I have a feeling I know what it is. Could be the suspension, actually. No, look at that. What is going on there? Alright, let's get that off. Is it, just, is it literally just that? What's that over there? That looks rusty. So I'm pretty sure I found one of the parts. The muffler. What's that? Let's bring the engine back down. Engine, the car back down. 
put the engine inside, I guess. What car is this supposed to be? Oh, I forgot the name of it. Not a Supra. Is it an Eclipse? Something kind of? Something like that. Ah. Yeah, that does not look healthy. How do I get that off? Take the turbo off first. Alright. So that's where all the all the gas, all the smoke you'd expect from the uh, from the engine goes out of there, down to the exhaust, out of the back of the car, and for some reason it's just rusty. Pretty sure I can't fix these parts, but you never know. It's worth having a look. Uh, no, not quite yet. I'm not too far away from leveling up. So I'm quite excited for. Oh, I keep forgetting I got the tablet. So what we can do now, if we go to the inventory, we can then obviously. T oh, we've got a case. Open up, baby. I'm worried the game's going to add loot boxes. <laughs> Potentially, I think you get a box after every story mission you do. Yeah, we just leveled up. Yes, and got some credits. Thank you very much. So we need exhaust manifold and the muffler. And if we can go to the tablet, the main shop, the shopping list. Let's get rid of these. So I need that. 80, really? It's not too bad. Not bad, is it? And the muffler. Okay, that's a bit more expensive. Yeah, I was going to get an exhaust for my car. I didn't end up bothering, to be honest. It just didn't seem worth it. I feel like I was just, like, frying my money away. And no one wants to do that. Turbo. There we go. And put the muffler back on. And that will be fixed. Definitely starting to do jobs a bit quicker as well. I don't like that. The story one was obviously a different story, of course. It was a lot longer. But that was quite that was quite a big job. Is that on? No screws necessary? Okay. It is done! Boom! That's not bad, actually. 400 credits for that. I'll take that. And do we have enough? We have... Oh, I've got three skill points. Yes. I do love repairing stuff. So, let's go for that. Yep. Goodbye points. I might buy this as well. Fuel pressure meter. These are really useful, just for getting that extra XP. And they don't cost too much as well. I will test it on this car. And I think it'd be a great time to end this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it though. It's been good fun. I've learned a lot. This is the fuel pressure. Okay. So maybe the fuel pump, the fuel filter might come up. Yeah. It's pretty basic, but still, it's, it's some more tests you can do. Not bad. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon. And bye-bye.